What is up everyone? We are back with a new farming strategy. Very new player friendly. No sextants, no scarabs, nothing like that. Uh, you're not really juicing or you have to juice. And this is something I was doing all or most of yesterday that I greatly enjoyed. Another reason I really like this strategy is it kind of gives me that old that old school uh, Diablo 2 feeling where you know, you'd go on a Mephisto run and your sole goal was just to see what pops from the boss. This is kind of mimicking that feeling, uh, so I kind of, you know, enjoy bringing it back a little old school. So let's just jump into it. Uh, th this is revolving around the new Atlas Keystone destructive play. And what this does is the Maven casts up the stakes, which summons one to three additional bosses. Uh, so the modifiers to the final boss also apply to the extra spawned bosses. So that means if she spawns, three additional bosses, you are getting uh, three times the extra chance or quadruple the drops that these passives and the, um, you know, the modifiers on the map give you. So that means that boss room or that boss area, that pop is much bigger and you get a lot of good stuff when we follow this Atlas passive tree. The passive tree itself is uh, very simple. Uh, it is very symmetrical, which I very much so appreciate. What I did was uh, I came up right through the middle. Uh, just get these map nodes just to get quicker up here. I take the uh, connected maps down here and then go up. This is just for a little bit more map sustain. So you're gaining more maps as you are running the maps. Uh, again, I go over this a lot. The connected maps just mean if you're, say, running a... Uh, pen map there is a uh, chance that a boss is going to drop you know either a waterways map or a castle map a castle ruins map something like that and it makes the chance much more likely so that's why we take those and then also bosses love to drop maps so i am taking as many chance to uh drop duplicated maps as possible go right up here now i do go down here and take the harvest nodes now this is not necessary for this strategy, but you will probably have some extra points left over, so you can pick another thing to add on to make the maps a little better. And at this point in the league, Harvest is very, very good. The life force you get from Harvest sells very, very well. Not to mention, I use the life force for another farming strategy that's on the more much high-end thing that I enjoy doing that I will not be talking about in this video, but that is why my extra points are going up here into things like Harvest, over here into things like Harvest. Now, because I want Harvest to show up as often as possible, I take Stream of Consciousness, which makes that uh, more extra content has a better chance of spawning in my maps, as long as I'm not using, and well, I actually can't use things like uh, Scarabs or stuff like that in the map device, which I wasn't going to do anyway. So this is just a win in general. And then all the other points, I just go up and basically anything that makes the boss drop more, I take. For example, down here, uh, this final boss has a 1% chance to drop an additional Scarab. I take that. Uh, the final one, Subtle Manipulations, map device has a 10% chance not to consume Scarabs. We are not using Scarabs, so this is pointless. That's why there is no point in here. We go up, we're going to take the 1%, 1.5% chance for a Synthesis map to drop from the final boss in each uh, map tier of 11+. plus. That is just, you know, a better chance for better map maps to drop from the boss. Come up here, same thing. Final map boss in each map has a chance to drop an Elder Guardian map or a Shaper Guardian map on tier 14 plus maps. Now this recently was a bug that things like this were not working with the destructive play keystone that is now fixed and oh my god is it noticeable if you get four bosses uh total we are talking a 12 percent chance each for one of these to drop and it happens very very often go down here you get the invitation chance to uh, drop a maven's invitation this is very very strong uh, you definitely want to take these and even though we are not making the maven uh uber maven uh, we are taking these because it is more chance to drop Maven's Invitations. And then obviously we need Destructive Play. We then finish it off with the Conquered map chance for the map bosses. This is also 
very, very strong. Like I said earlier, there's going to be some extra points left over. I just put it in harvest and also into map quantity. So I do the increased quantity all in the circle. You can never have enough quantity. The more amount of things drop, the more better chance you have of finding something that's good or worth it. Pretty self-explanatory. These middle ones give you quantity and rarity, so you should prioritize these before you get the ones on the outside. Again, so this is fluid. You can see I even have four points left. Uh, I took it out of this. There is the Royal Guard and the Exile Currency Chance, where the uh, map bosses can have two extra Rogue Exile Bodyguards. Um, I have never found anything good from these nodes. I don't think it's that worth it. I will eventually find four more points to put these in that I just haven't decided yet. But you can pick and choose um, something that you want to put these points in if you do not feel like doing Harvest, whether you like to do Expedition or Legion or Breach or anything like that. You have the freedom to put kind of your own spin on it. Now, the major thing and the thing that I screw up sometimes is when you go in the boss room, you have to let the mavens say, let's up the stakes before you kill the boss or she will not summon them. So what I will do is when you go in the boss room, I wait until she says, time to raise the stakes. Then you can kill him anytime after that. And she will summon the extra bosses uh, after that big... A uh, bunch of loot will pop. For some reason, my loot filter broke as I logged in today. I don't know what they changed or what they did. Not to mention, I'm about to get kicked out of the server because uh, Spectrum is not a nice company. I, um, yeah, I'm not going to go in too much on that. So, in order to use the destructive play keystone, you are going to need to run stuff with Maven Influence. If you do not have Maven's Influence, once you start mapping, you are going to get the Maven quest line. Just do what it says until you get to the point where you fight the Maven to unlock her the ability to put it on everything that you can. Now, if you get up to Maven and you cannot kill her, you can either go to the Forbidden Trove Discord and get a carry from someone. You can type in slash trade space 820 and some people offer carries. Or you could just say, I need a Maven carry and pay for it. Or, if I'm streaming, come to my chat say, I need Maven dead. If you have the ability to fight her, I can go in and kill her for you very quickly. It is not a problem. Uh, I really enjoy that fight, so I do not mind doing it at all. What this means, though, is you can only do this on maps that she has not witnessed. What that means is when you kill someone or a map boss with Maven influence on, that will automatically uh, give you kind of save her or save that boss in her memory, and then you can fight them in invitations. It will keep track of this by these circles, these divots. They go around, and after 10, you can see right there, Maven Progress, the out of 10 near the bottom. Uh, it will give you the ability to run an Atlas invitation that I will show you. But that means you will have to keep running different maps to be able to yeah, keep getting her influence, basically. So if you put a map in here and it says this grays out and it says the Maven's already witnessed this boss, you should run a different boss or else it's not going to use that destructive play. It's not going to run with the Maven influence anyways. So, you know, run all your different maps. You know, this is a good chance to get familiar with some of the maps, to mix it up a little bit. It kind of forces you not to just keep running the same damn map over and over and over, which gets very tedious and can give you some serious burnout. Now, you can also do this with the boss maps that you'll be finding a lot of. You could see there is a bunch of invitations when you hover over this icon, and it will tell you exactly what you need. For example, I like to farm the Elder Slayers invitation. You're going to be finding these invitations. You can see I have some right here. Um, these sell for about 120 chaos right now, so you can sell them, or I like to run them because I have quite a few Conqueror's maps. Now, I have a map stash tab. This is not necessary, but I do like the stash tab a lot. If you are going to buy a stash tab, this one is pretty high on the list. Now, these Conqueror maps, you can see there's four of them. These are what you need to run to get the fragments to fight Cirrus. I don't fight Cirrus. I just sell the fragments, but that's what they give you. These also work with the destructive play Keystone. So when you fight the bosses in these maps, she is going to summon extra bosses for these two. So any map with a boss that can have influence, as you can see, I can put this one in there. It still works, but it's not going to give me progress for the main ring. It's going to just give me, well, actually it will give me progress for the main ring if she hasn't witnessed the wharf map yet. 
But even if she has witnessed the wharf map, it will still let me run it because it'll give me progress towards the Elder Slayer's invitation that you can see is grayed out. Uh, you can see some other ones are not grayed out because she has witnessed those maps already. Once you witness all four of those, I can run the Elder Slayer invitation and fight all four of these bosses kind of staggered. So once I fill it, once you fill up this ring and you will find plenty of these Maven's invitations, the atlases, uh, you can run those to uh, fight all the bosses kind of staggered in an arena that you start the fight by clicking on the thing in the center. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I've explained it in other videos and shown it off that you can go check out, but uh, I'm not going to fill the circle for the sake of this video. But that is what you do. Now, if you have not witnessed enough bosses, it will warn you before you run the invitation, basically saying, um, don't run this. It's pretty pointless right now. Wait till you witness all of the bosses. Not to mention, this will be grayed out, giving you another warning. You haven't witnessed um, enough things to make this worth running. So because of these Atlas passives up here that give you a chance for uh, synthesized maps, uh, Shaper and Elder maps, and also the Conqueror's maps, you're going to be getting a lot of maps, especially with the duplication nodes. They are going to duplicate quite a bit. What do you do with those? Well, you can just sell them singularly. Uh, for especially things like these Conqueror's maps, they will sell for about 28, 29, 30 chaos a piece. You can just throw those in the stash and uh, sell them singularly, or you can sell them in bulk. Now, how they sell in bulk is per set usually. One of each is a set, or usually sometimes 10 of each is a set. Uh, you can see right now I have 15, 13, 15, 20. So what I would probably do is sell 10, 10, 10 as a set. And if I was selling in bulk, I would use TFT. And yes, I know a lot of people hate using TFT, but it really is pretty simple. What I would do is Google TFT PoE Discord, join join this Discord. I would go down to the Ancestor Softcore Bulk Want to Sell section, or you can do the Hardcore section or whatever league or season you are playing, and go to Bulk Maps WTS ASC, which stands for Want to Sell in the Ascendancy League. And then what I would do is I would check some prices. You could see um, 20 Cirrus map sets, uh, 30 Elder map sets, so you know 30 of each. Uh, that is going for three divine or 20 map sets. This one is going for seven divine per 10 sets. So I would probably go around seven divine if I wanted to sell these 10 sets. All I would do is I would type in want to sell soft core, hold shift, hit enter to do a new line. Uh, 10 set Cirrus con conk maps. And then I could go down here and put seven divine, or I could just delete this, go to the icons, click the divine, make it look a little nicer. Some people, you can even put a picture there. That's not a big deal. Um, it does not really matter. As you can see, a lot of people do not use pictures, uh, and it works just fine. Oh, also, don't forget to put IGN, which is in-game name, and how, and how to be contacted. That's also very important. And then you could just hit enter and wait for someone to whisper you. It's generally very quick. If it's not quick enough for you, lower the price a little. I could just go down to 6.5 div or even lower. I could just go 6 divine if I want this to be a quick sale. So that's kind of a wrap. Like I said, I absolutely love destructive play. I think it makes the game so much more fun. I think it is one of the best ones they introduced. And if you have not tried it yet, I highly suggest you do. I've had a blast running with this is very simple you don't have to have a lot of mechanics on the map you can just run the map normally with the extra quant it's going to make your maps a little bit juicier um, and obviously i didn't go over if you need to juice the maps rather to run white or rare maps run whatever you can if you can run rare or even magic maps it's always going to be better than white because it's going to give you pack size item rarity and item quantity you're just going to find more and better stuff that is the strategy, everyone. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And also get followed over on twitch.tv slash safeontalk, where I am streaming all the time, always answering questions. And if I can't answer it, there's a lot of people in the chat that usually can't answer it. So let me know in the comments, everyone, if I missed anything. Uh, and always check the comments, because I usually pin any changes or anything that I think of while I'm editing. Uh, but yeah, uh, give this a shot. 
it is lucrative it is a great farming strategy and let me know in the comments how it works out for you and kind of the things you've been doing this league or even ways to improve on this strategy i am always open to new things that i may have missed or might make this even more fun so that's it for now guys thanks for watching and we will catch you on the next one